Gentlemen and female gentlemen, welcome everyone to Sunny V2's worst aged video of all time. Nick Akata's new video is honestly just depressing, which he released two days ago uh, because apparently it's aged so horribly. Just two days later, Nick revealed he was two steps ahead. So I like watching poorly aged uh, And I am here with my friend who is half dead and sickly, but we pulled him out for this collab, a Cheeto commentary yeah. drama snake extraordinaire. It's great. You know, Nick Akata being two steps ahead, I think that may have been the first two steps he's ever f taken, but we'll, we'll go for it. <laughs> see, that's why he didn't Love say ten it. steps ahead. I don't think he could have made it that far. Nah, he would not be able to do Maybe if we're, we're pushing the wheelchair, if we count those as steps, we convert them. Maybe a few more than ten, but we'll start with two. How about that? Yeah, well, the baby steps. Baby steps. So, for those of you that are uninitiated, Nick Akata Avocado's entire uh, facade of being a fat f face f his husband... It was actually a joke! He lost all the weight, and he has been slowly but surely releasing videos over the course of the last two- These are the same thumbnail on two separate videos. I think that he waited for Sunny V2 to release this video talking about how Nick Akata's new video is depressing to release his Two Steps Ahead video. I think he was waiting for a reputable enough drama guy to drop a viral video lambasting him in order to make his comeback. Bro! And everyone wonders why I'm posting less. I'm not happy. I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've become. I Dude, see, and you're gonna sit here. Okay, for those of you unaware, Cheeto over here doesn't think that this is a good troll. Hello? It's a good troll. No, it's a good troll. I, you know what? You know, maybe I have to go back and walk down memory lane, but to, to just really see how... <laughs> How this is the video this that was really posted was. two days ago. Two days ago Bro. he made this video, and it's already so out of date. You know what I, I love? Like this is this is a small thing, but I love when uh, if you go back to the, like two, to four seconds, he has. I love the fact that he wears gloves when he eats the food. It's like that's where you draw the line, getting your hands dirty. <laughs> it's too toxic. This shit that he ingests. Yeah. Yo, guys. I wouldn't want to get my precious hands all dirty. I mean, ruin my chin, my face, my body. Oh, and also, yeah, put my poopy butt on the internet, but I will not get my hands dirty. Okay. True. I love it. I love it. It's, it's, it's great. actual Joker shit. Like, come on. This is yes. like classic Batman villain, okay? It's like, mm -hmm. like Batman says to him, but Joker, you poisoned the Gotham City water supply. Why are you wearing gloves? <laughs> you know, like, this is the type of shit he would do. Look like. Mm -hmm. Nick Akato's recent video is so incredibly tragic, it makes all of his previous breakdowns seem like they were happy moments. Dude, and he literally framed this video to come out now, right before the reveal that he's totally fine. Well, the one thing I do know about Sonny V2 is that he does not like to like ever apologize or rescind information or redact anything with with, the, with the, the Chris Tyson stuff. And honestly, think about it like this, okay? Sonny... Have it, knowing what we know now about Chris Tyson, I would say Sonny V2's videos on Chris Tyson, maybe parts of it were bad, but overall, I think the video now has regained some appreciation, right? What if the same thing happens where Nick just gains all the weight back and Sonny's like, hey, get fucked? Okay, so to be fair, I think Sonny V2's uh, video on Chris Tyson was a terrible video. I think, yes, he ended up being right that Chris Tyson ended up being a creep, but not for any of the reasons he laid out in his video. I think that video yeah, no, you're right. Literally was a none. bad video. You're right. Uh, it was this, a bad video. But... I don't think that this is a bad video either. It just, he was fooled. Like, Nick Akato Avocado fooled the shit out of this man. Mm -hmm. It's not that this is a bad video. It just aged like milk within 24 hours because Nick literally trolled him way too do you think that sunny cares though because no. he's gonna get all the new views and traffic from nick fans too yeah no i don't think he cares at all he's probably happy sure this video did super well for him it did better than his last like five videos or something yeah so everyone wins everyone wins hey, even look. nick's cardiologist well he actually is the only one that doesn't win here <laughs> I mean, well, what do you mean nick's cardiologist is it, isn't that wait that doesn't losing the weight like help your heart yeah, but the cardiologist doesn't want to help his heart. <laughs> he wants to do the surgery and get paid. Bro, I'm out oh, true. Yeah, you're right. exactly what he is. To me. You know. Yeah, fair enough. Talking to the guy who literally just rolled out of the hospital into this recording. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Simply titled by Nick Accardo talks about deeply regretting his time on YouTube, in the process admitting to financial ruin, and the ways in which fame destroyed his life completely. And that was all a lie. He was two steps ahead, Cheeto. Yeah. 
what what I, what was the financial ruin thing? I didn't follow that. Well, he, Isn't he rich? Uh, so he actually said in his latest videos he was alluding to how he was not rich. Like he's he he needs to pay medical bills so much because he's so you know fucking fat. So he needs so he has tons of expenses going to medical shit, where he like sleep apnea machines and all that. Mm-hmm. He he couldn't walk. He had like a one of those little electronic wheelchair things driving him around yeah fair enough i guess i just never thought that uh he would have been in, like in a desperate spot because of those purchases but eh, i could be wrong i thought he was like a like at least worth 10 mil i highly doubt it i mean like, i'm not trying to pocket watch but like it, but when you see people like this who have like decided to like ruin their lives i, I mean you know maybe his life's back but may- uh, at least become a lol cow temporarily to just farm views off people and, and you know like only fan subscribers and stuff like they're always rich i mean not always i don't think uh his latest video here uh, we'll- i guess we have no choice but to bring out the calculator okay like a good example like like boogie like he was rich well define rich well, it wasn't even like, well, I guess so. Yeah, I guess you have to, like, define rich. But, yeah, I mean, he's made over, like, $5 million total, right? But he's just, like, pissed it all away. I, I guess, like, the income is always there, but a lot of these retards just don't know how to spend money. I mean, he also claims that he never had that much. But, uh, anyway, like, if you look at the total Nikocado views, okay, so here's his second channel, here's his main channel. Okay, so in his history, he got 8.4 plus 5, so he got 1.3 billion views. Uh huh. How much is that? What's what's a, what's a, what's your CPM, or what's an average CPM? Um, depends. I mean, like my RPM is usually anywhere from like two to four dollars. All right. So he got, and this is fetish. These videos are like videos keep in mind. These videos are like an hour content. long, right? So there's a billion ads in there. That's true, but it's also fetish shit. Like I doubt YouTube is paying the high top as dollar for that. Yeah. True. But I guess, like, the thing with that, the I guess the problem with that is, like, although obviously it is fetish content, like, the, on the surface, like, it is, you know, it's disgusting, but, like, har- it's harmless. It's it's, in- it's inoffensive is the right word. Yeah, I guess. It's offensive to me. Yeah, true, <laughs> obviously. I'm offended. But it's not, yeah. Okay, so let's say you had an RPM of, uh, you know, $5, okay? So that is, like, $6 million. Yeah, no, that's crazy. That's a lot of money. Yeah. The 41 minute video begins on terrible footing, as after only 24 seconds, Nick's already almost on the verge of tears. Just gonna tell you right off the bat, I'm on the edge of a breakdown. Most likely by the end of this video, I'm gonna be flipping out. The reason for this is- Dude's edging, he's edging, he's getting ready to reach the end. God damn. I don't need that image, I don't need the visual bro, please. So, here's what I want you to imagine quickly revealed. Nick had begun to realize YouTube was actually a terrible choice. My life was going great. So I decided to do this YouTube life. And I'm sitting here thinking I have thrown away the best years of my life. Admit- Come on, this isn't glorious acting? Yeah, it's pretty good. I just don't know if like, the problem is, is he playing a character or not? Yeah, of course he is. Everyone plays a character. I play a character. We're all playing characters. Okay, relax, Joker. You know what I mean. <laughs> I think he's playing a character because right after he recorded this, he started dieting and he lost 250 pounds over the next two years. Wait, losing weight doesn't mean that you, you can lose the weight, but you don't. That doesn't mean he's not playing a character. Okay, I'm gonna show you two videos. I'm going to prove my point in literally two seconds. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nikocado avocado. Okay, so this is one. Video of Nikocado Avocado. It's a rat! I, I, don't, I can't see it. Why? See it? Oh no, you can't see it because it's in a different window. Okay, alright, alright, hold on. I forgot that how Discord share screen works. Wait, wait. <laughs> My bad. Alright, you see it now? Yes. You you don't think that this is playing a character? I think it's I think it's just a what would what would be the word? I think it's just like a a tuned up version of who like he normally is. Like I don't think he's a different person. I think he's just exaggerating. Oh really? You don't think so? You don't think this is a different guy? 
one, five. This guy? Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Yeah, like I said, I just think he's chilling this one, and then the other one, he's like turning up his antics. Like, you just, yeah, there's someone in your chat said it. He's just like a theater kid. Like, I don't think he's playing a character. I think, okay, well, let me ask you this. Was he in character when he spread his asshole? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I, again, I think that he's a, a weird dude, all right? I think he destroyed his life, all right? I'm not, I'm not exactly uh, complimenting his, his decision-making capabilities, but I do think that he definitely played some sort of character. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want to call character just it, like... Uh, with the constant like meltdowns fucking... and the secret, the, like the epic anime villain dialogue monologues. Like, you don't think this is a guy playing a character and playing it up? Playing it up, but not playing a character. Is Dr. Disrespect playing a character? No. Okay, so we're obviously having different definitions of character here. See, I don't, I don't know, sit I, here... Okay, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, he, I'm bro. screaming, I'm making jokes and all my content and stuff like that. Ultimately, is yes. this exactly who I am in real life? No. It's no. me, but it's amped up. Okay. It's amped up. Exactly. He's doing the same thing when he's getting pizza boxes thrown at him. He's not pretending to be someone else. He's not playing the role of somebody. He's not an actor. He's a character. He's I, playing the role. I'm, bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip that fucking PNG off the screen right he's now. Playing, bro. Like, he's playing the role of a fucking moron. He's playing the role okay. of I someone that, having okay. a meltdown when he's not having a meltdown. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I just play the video. All right. Meeting he never would have started if given a second chance. <laughs> I wish I could turn back the clock. I wish I could go back in time. I wish I would never have done YouTube. I wish I would have never decided that this would be a fun way to make a living. That this would be a fun way to have a life. This would be a fun way to provide for my family. He See, but all that was lies, right? You recognize yeah. that. All that was lies. All th This fake crying is fake crying. This isn't a character. No, it's the real guy. He was just lying and gaslighting people into thinking that he was acting like someone else. This is acting, 100%, because he didn't regret it, because he did this whole epic troll. Okay, okay, me, okay, I'll give you this. Okay, okay, I think I think I'll agree with you on this, right? I think maybe I guess my problem is like I can't conceive of him when he's not acting being intelligent. So I think he's like a very. I think he's. I don't know. He he just seems like a retard, and I think him being in character <laughs> is is trying to like make him seem more intelligent than he is. You know. I'm, I'm, uh, look, I'm not saying that he's four billion IQ uh, here, literally playing four D chess when Doctor Disrespect is playing checkers. Okay. Okay. But this but, is okay. You're right. Yeah, he's acting. Okay. You're this right. I'll take one. I'll take a loss. All right, we take those. All right. Anyway, let's see Sunny V two continue to get fooled. So it's okay. Other hints as to why. My job is to face people who hate me, who don't Same. care for me, Same. that don't, that aren't even interested in me. They're here for someone fat. Yet he's in. This is his latest video. They're here for someone fat, and then he drops the bomb that he lost 250 pounds. This is genius. And Sunny V2 fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Again, no hate to Sunny. Yeah. Interrupted by his pizza delivery, leading to the video's ah, only moment something. where Nick yeah, isn't true. totally miserable. However, the second he takes a bite, you can see Nick Accardo's dark realization that he despises his life completely. No, he can't even eat his quarter of a pie in one shot. Poor, poor guy. Poor dude. Okay, this is this is like this is like where Sunny V two does Sunny V two stuff. <laughs> I mean, dude, I love I love the Sunny V two. It's like okay, that was obviously. Psychology. It's so good. Yeah, that was definitely acting. Like you can say he takes a bite of the pizza and doesn't quite like it. Yeah, I think he I think he would demolish that off camera. I think it's his deep seated father issues. Could be that. Could be that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? I don't like this! I don't like this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to eat food. Nick hating his job. Based. What's your favorite food? We what food would you eat to make yourself look like this guy? If you had to pick a food. Uh, I'll pick a restaurant and go with five guys. Oh, God, dude. Well, he's also gotten five guys. Isn't unexpected, but his claim well, about maybe money like a five is a and one. <laughs> God. 
little more One man surprised. with a weight of five. But he no, no, said no, no. he said I've he seen, gave up. I've seen things. I've seen things. Okay? He, he has things. an OnlyFans. And He's taken five guys. Are you, are you serious? No, I'm joking. But okay, anyway. fuck you. Bro, <laughs> he said he threw away his hopes and dreams to eat food. You realize people with hopes and dreams also eat food, right? Do you want to elaborate Hello? on that? Well, no, he's, bro, he's saying, I gave up everything to eat food. Like, bro, Warren fucking Buffett eats breakfast. No, but he gave it up to eat food competitively, okay? This is like competitive eating, okay? No, I know, but, like, I this guess, like, like, what, what Hitler dream is saying did... Hitler threw everything away to, to pursue racism. But everyone's a little racist. No, but Hitler, like, he was a professional racist. Yeah, I guess it was just a funny way of putting it. Bro, but what do we know what dreams he had? He was a concert violinist. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and shit. a vegan activist. What? Dude, there's so much Dude, lore with this guy. Dude, there's so just... much lore. That's why this is such a crazy moment. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess I just walk past fat fucks all the time. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care. You don't think they have lore. You see a fat I mean, guy, I guess like, they do. Hey, what is he? What has he done? Fake cancer lately or something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Your chat can educate me. I'll watch them. They'll be my, uh, they'll be my little cheat sheet. No, they lie. They are pathological liars. Don't trust them. They seem friendly. I love them. They're friendly, but they will lie to you and spit your bones out. And I mean that with love. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The irony is, I've barely made any money for the past two, three years. Across Nick Accardo's five biggest channels, he's done 1.85 billion views total, which by applying a conservative ad rate of three dollars per. Dude, I was doing my shitty calculations, and Mr. Sunny V2 broke out the graph paper. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Thousand. Views. Well, he's really two steps ahead, isn't he? <laughs> two steps ahead. He's made 5.5 million from YouTube ads alone. Yeah, that's what we he got. He also charges $500 per cameo and has over a thousand reviews, meaning if you include maybe another thousand people who didn't review, he's also likely made over a million dollars from this. Then Nick also oh, has a friend. Patreon and his iconic line of merch, which when combined with everything else, iconic. could mean total career oh, earnings yeah. of almost 10 million. Iconic line of merch. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> think there's anything less iconic. <laughs> nah, it's pretty good, though. Not gonna lie. It's, it's solid. I appreciate it. Is it? So, like, uh, what? Born to be skinny? I identify as skinny? Yeah, yeah. He, he got all... It's the, a red shirt. Yeah. That says all, identify all as skinny. Woke, all the woke haters have nothing to say to him now. The wokies have been destroyed. The woke... Okay, sure. They, that makes sense. Bio, skinny merch? It's over. It's over. He is the I wonder if he's rattle. ever been political. I mean, because, like, he makes these hour-long videos where he's eating food, right? Like, you think at some point he's got to, like, say something. And, like, you know, there's probably hours. Like, when you're a streamer, there's hours of you, and you eventually say something of substance. Like, has that guy ever had a moment like that? Probably. D but... Like, oh, oh but, probably. I don't know. I know all's fucking lore, but I don't know that one question. Yeah, but, uh, listen, I never claimed to be a, a lore enthusiast here. I just know that, that it exists. Bro, this but is. He was a pro violinist. I know what he wanted dude, to do, but I don't know. This is a MAGA hat on a shirt. Okay? <laughs> okay. God damn it. Listen, I don't know exactly what he said in all of his streams, but I do think he played a character for enough of it to know that he shouldn't say anything of actual substance. He says yeah. plenty crazy, batshit, insane things. He said watching humans is interesting because they're like ants. Okay? He says wild stuff all the time. So you can't yeah. take him seriously, even if he does say some random crap. I'm sure he supports MAGA. Make Applebee's great again. <laughs> true, true. So how could it be possible he didn't make much money? Uh, the, the Achito question. Uh, well, Nick Accardo would elaborate. I hate that my job is showing up here and hoping I get paid from it because the YouTube gods strike me down three years ago and it's never improved. Nick seemed to imply his videos were rarely monetized, which has been happening for over three years. We tested this by watching his oh, content shit, so on a fresh right. new account and found that most videos on more Nick Accardo don't even play one single ad. That's what I'm saying. It's fetish content, bro. Yeah, okay, you're right then. He's sitting there naked, okay? Face humping his husband, eating food, shoving noodles up his asshole. Okay, that was a metaphor. 
don't think about it too much. But yeah, yeah, I get it. I get why he's not super monetized. Fair enough, yeah. I guess I forgot to factor in the fact that he <laughs> like frequently makes out with his husband on camera in the midst of noodle consumption. So, yeah, yeah makes na- sense. Naked, by the way. Like, with not- and he has a lot of flesh. He has more flesh than most people. He has a lot of flesh. He has so much <laughs> flesh, dude. Him dude, half naked you know how people is say- more naked than me fully naked. You ever think of that? No, I, I never have thought of that. Um, but anyway, you know how people say the phrase like exploring each other's bodies? Yes, there's a lot to explore. Dude, they have, there's literally no way they've explored every inch of each other's body. There's just no, like that, that would take so much time. True, true, true. Now every once in a while they find a the new fat fold to put another American flag in. Go where no one's gone before. What? Pretty exciting. Oh, yeah, they're marking territory. <laughs> True. Uh, oh, this is new. <laughs> hey, I didn't notice this one. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Anywho, so demonetized content maybe didn't make a lot of money. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. On the contrary, most of his third channel videos have ads, but his earnings didn't matter anyway. Because any money he did make has now been fully wasted. It wasn't even worth it. I barely made any money. And the money I did make, I... Lost. To the ah. extent that Nick Ocado is now struggling to survive. I hate my finances. I hate my husband. I hate my family. I hate my friends. I hate my work. I hate this country. He's so based. He's so real for this. God, he's just spitting. What do you think? Yeah, some, you know, some vague national socialist messaging from Nick. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, just true. trying to extrapolate on that. Um, I don't really know where he might lean. He might lean right. He might lean left. He might lean back in his seat. Who fucking knows? Oh, no. This is this is some uh, Hassan Piker commentary I'm getting right here in real time. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Well, I guess if he fucked up his finances, then he got lost in the sauce. And then got lost in the sauce. A lot of sauce. Lots a lot of, of sauce. sauce. I hate yeah. this place. But to pay so much just to survive. As a result, he begins to consider even moving to a different country. I'm literally about to move to Indonesia. This is all a lie. He is literally trolling everyone. It's all a lie. All of it. Friend there right now, and do you know how much she paid for her dinner? Two dollars and twenty-four cents. He's trying to get food for cheaper, but like, see, but he's obviously playing a character because the solution here would just be eat less food, right? Yep, that makes sense. Like if Good you analysis. Afford it, just just eat less food, bro. You're eating enough to to feed a family of sixteen, okay? Um, but Good analysis. It's yeah, all, it's all a troll. It's all a troll. Which Nick you're, is you're actually, like an accountant, bro. You're good with money. Thank you. I'm Jewish done before having spent three years living in south america he acknowledges the easier solution would have simply been to make a different type of content and I- <laughs> just made reaction content <laughs> Round Nick Akato, Akato reacts to the political debate oh yeah that's the commentary i want more age appropriate or more whatever friendly what was this all for i don't even like this or more tragically stick with his previous love of playing violin i felt like I had a purpose to create beautiful oh, shit, he did look pretty good at that he why do you don't believe me i'm giving you i did believe Lord. you i just saw it ah oh, oh, you're such a hater you're such a hater Bro, what do you need? He looks Evidence? Good, what are we, second grade? Well, I mean, look at that. He was smiling. He no, was, was teeter-tottering while playing the violin. Nice. He looked amazing. True. Go back. Show that again. We need, to, we need to really hone in on that because there are people who use this background noise. This is me redirecting them to the video to look on their screen at this young gentleman with the promising future that got pissed away. What do you mean pissed away? He, he created oh, a shit legacy. Away. I don't know. A legacy. Of, of playing violin. And he was. He was Look at a, that. An Look at that. Good form. And eh, not my tempo. You have no idea eh, what you're saying. Not my tempo. You have no idea what you're saying. You have no idea what you're saying. You literally. What do you mean? a whiplash reference. You listen to Skibbity Toilet music soundtrack. OSP your chat Club. gets my references. No, they don't get your references. They do get my they references. Get your, they hate you. They hate you. Fuck you. You don't see it, but they hate you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, I felt like I had a purpose to create beautiful music, to inspire people, to give people hope when they're going through horrible shit. 
<laughs> it seems Nikocado's mukbangs have destroyed his previous talent. I used to play the violin and my fingers got too fat. Hey, the Oompaville video. I think it's stuck in the strings, they go boonk. And then I can't play it. Oh Missing my, vibe. that's why. His fingers got fucking fat. Wait, okay, I'm not gonna lie for a second. I didn't really get why he couldn't play violin anymore. I I thought, like, you could just pull up a chair, right? But I realized his fingers got too fat to play. This I is didn't why, get this it. This is why he has racial slurs in all his texts. Because when he means to say one thing, it accidentally comes out saying something else. He wanted to say oh, that he got yeah. bigger, and he ended up saying something totally different. Of if voice fingers. typing was made for this guy. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Alien as an art form that actually impacted people's lives. All it takes is one person to come to a concert or a show and you change their life because you inspire them to do something similar or to go into the arts or something. And I'm sitting here eating food. In Oompaville's It's Your Fault, Nick Accardo further added, I was very good. I got a full ride scholarship to my school. Could you- That's it, baby. Full ride scholarship violinist. Pissed it away I for see. a troll. Never so mind. I assume he dropped out? More like you sank. You, could you read at school? Okay. Have you known about it? Okay. <laughs> Let's not go for that. low blows. Okay, he's the low, slow center of gravity. What could I say? For two that <laughs> With Juilliard being the world's most prestigious music school, a user on Reddit found Dude. Nick's full list of violin achievements, of which there were certainly many, and it therefore makes sense that he was good enough to teach. Have you ever had a job? Bro, it even has four upvotes on Reddit, so like, oh, that's how you know it's real. That, that's my favorite yep. part of Sunny V2 videos. It's like, no say, community notes. True, but my favorite thing in uh, Sunny V2 videos is when like he'll uh, he'll say, "And this was very well received, as you could tell by this comment." And then he'll show like a comment with four likes on it, saying, "This was well received." <laughs> He's a man of the people. He is. He is. I respect it. Job? Yeah, many violin lessons. I used to play at weddings. A YouTuber named a Violin Mechanic also watched all of Nick's violin videos, concluding he was near professional. Right from the bat, I can tell that this guy plays fantastically in tune. And it seemed this respect from other people was what Nick missed more than anything else. See, that's what you're talking- that's the armchair psychology. Yes, it was the other people that reviewed his old violin music that changed his entire worldview. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> no, it ended up not being that at all. I don't know. That, that's what I love so much about like the uh, the analysis videos. They could just be half wrong, and that's fine. Yeah. Well, I guess the thing is, like, when it's Nick Avocado, you're allowed to get a lot wrong, right? True. 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 It's a as long big, as you've noted target. that the general trajectory of his reputation has been downward, I think you get points for trying. Yeah, also it's like, it's one of those, uh, it's like trying to miss the side of the barn. Miss the side of the barn? I've never heard that. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big target. Oh. Oh, I, oh, oh, okay, double entendre. When I would finish my shows, I would sign autographs. People would wait in a line to take photos of me, which I think some people would now, but it's for a different reason. <laughs> it's not because I just inspired them. It's because I am a fat funny meme by playing <laughs> on the straight nick he knows see he's so self-aware you gotta respect uh, yeah. that yeah he's just too fair enough i mean i didn't i didn't even fully watch the new video of his comeback but i will say he did seem at looking back to have been well aware of how uh laughed at he's been so i'll give him credit you know that's why i think he's he's not a lol cow per se see lol cows think i think so? are failures i think that if someone's actually kind of successful and self-aware and and uh, you know he is respected in one way or another at least that he was able to pull all this off uh i don't i don't yeah. think he's a lol cow this this has given me a lot to think about to be honest with you yeah, i don't a, know because maybe he's not i mean it's it's tough because like <laughs> yeah. well, is there a difference between lol cow and laughing stock 
I guess so. I, I viewed l- lol cows more as uh, people that can't uh, support themselves financially, but other people could be financially supported by making fun of them. That's kind of how I would define a lol cow. So like oh, Boogie2988, he'll make a video, he'll get 5,000 views, but someone else will make a video making fun of Boogie2988 and they'll get 200,000 views. Right. Uh, but Nick I guess, just yeah, got 23 like, million no, views yeah, on yeah. a single video. So Yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? So he's, yeah, I, I guess he's just like an interesting little critter. Well, you know. I don't know. I think not little, but I think he's, he's, he's definitely he's like. internet lore. Yeah. It runs deep. It runs deep, bro. It does. He's cool. He's cool. He's a cool guy. I'd want Laughing that. stock is short term. I guess so. Yeah, I agree with that. And whoever said that in chat. Yeah, maybe. Nick is more, he's an artist, as they said in chat. I agree. <laughs> He's, he's aerodynamic. <laughs> that he is. That he is. Nick attracted massive crowds, but as he sits there thinking for over 20 seconds, he realizes what he truly misses. <laughs> I love the editing. The editing is so good. It's like, yeah, that's what he's thinking about in this moment. Is the respect because he had. They put it on his head. Yeah, that's what they think. It's good. True. <laughs> it, it's but good. the it's thing so is, good. the thing is, if Nick wouldn't have dropped this video right now, bro, bro, this video... Would have been a banger. Bro. Would have yeah. been a banger. Like, because how are you yeah. going to prove that that's not what was going on in his mind? You don't. You just get, you, silence is guilty of admission, I suppose, in, the, in that case, yeah. Yeah, well, turns out that's not what was going on in his mind. Listen, Nick Akato, he makes big waves. <laughs> Dude, I love my chat so much. <laughs> Yeah, your, your chat's himself. on fire with the fat phobic shit. I love it. Oh, dude, they're so good. They they're not fat phobic. They're they're pro health. Okay, let's let's not put labels. Damn, I felt that home for a second. I was like, damn, where are my fat phobes at? No, they're not fat phobic. They just appreciate health. It's a different. Ooh. thing. it's a different thing. Oh, and I had yeah, you appreciate they health. I'm fat women, phobic. Okay? We're not the same. They don't hate women. They just like men more. It's not. They're not sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> no longer just say you're a misogynist. Just be like, I'm homoerotic. They'll read between the lines. Yeah. It's like, I don't hate women. I'm gay. Good. Good response. Pride, a sense of honor, a sense of happiness. I felt closer to God, actually. In comparison, <laughs> dude, did a fake tear and everything. Felt closer That's to awesome. God. Yeah, sure you did, brother. Sure you did, dude. Listen to his music, he's lost all motivation to mukbang. I felt like I was doing something that I was called to do. I don't feel that with these videos. Which can definitely be felt throughout the entire video. I can't even fake sit here and fake this for you. I'm not going to. He tried And it's all fake! I can't fake this. It's all fake. It's all fake. Fuck dude. Honestly, well, I think obese people feel closer to God. Cause they'll meet him soon. <laughs> True, but like I guess yeah. When you say it's all fake, like well, no, he did actually eat all that food, right? True, but like the way he's expressing himself is all fake. Yeah. Throughout oh yeah, the yeah. The video. acting is. I can't. Is, I, I do agree. Now it is like a character for sure. Yeah, because one saying, that he plays quite well. It, very well, because he's saying I can't even fake this, like, and he's crying, but he is faking it. Yeah. The fake. Self aware for sure. This. For you. I'm not going to. He tries to talk about the food, but clearly doesn't care. Let's try these breadsticks. Hmm. <laughs> the pizza wasn't it. There was another pizza. Mr. President, a second pizza just hit the table. Dude, that is so much fucking food. Oh my god. You know, that, I went that's to a restaurant yesterday. It was the first time in my life that they served a pie of pizza with like a giant pair of scissors to cut yourself slices. Have you ever had that before? No, that sounds super nice, though. It was, like, a nice place. Yeah, it was a nice place. That was wild. I never saw that. Like, normally, you know, they, they break out the pizza roller, but they actually gave, like, a, a huge pair of scissors. That was awesome. Dude, how did she like it? The pizza was mid, but the scissors were awesome. Well, how did she like it? The pizza was mid, but the scissors were awesome. No, no, no. I'm talking about Jane Animations. Oh, I wouldn't know. I, I'm not parasocial like that. Jaden and I did have pizza on multiple occasions. Me, Jaden, and Nick Akato Avocado, all of us got together and had some pizza. And the Cheeto film. I see. It. He was it's there. crazy, though, but, like, that's... Dude, that's enough for, like... 
like at least Damn. five hours of like a Friday with the boys playing Smash, and he's <laughs> just tearing that up right now. <laughs> oh my god, dude. crazy! Yeah, it's pretty fucking wild. crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah, that's like it's no wonder that he's fat. No, it's it, Nux. It's, it's fucking insane. This is a lot of pizza. Like, like, if Mr. This Beast, is insane. If Mr. B. He's building, bro, his body, okay, you know how they say, oh, your body's a temple? Bro, he's building his brick by brick. We're watching the construction of it with this eating. <laughs> his body isn't a temple, it's a fortress, goddammit. Yeah, and we're watching him cement the fucking layers of bricks with every bite. Yeah, he's literally going through space marine surgery right now. He needs a second heart and third lung for this shit. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. They should give him like one of those uh, like animal lungs they're trying to transplant, like a pig lung or something. True, true. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast does like a, you know, he did Team Trees, he did Team C's. He's going to do something for pizza, like getting pizza to people that need it, and the whole thing will just go directly into Nick Akato's house. Yeah, he's going to like, he's going to DDoS the servers and reroute them all to his place, oh, wherever yeah. they're delivering. Oh, yeah. Damn, look at this man. That's fine. <laughs> as Nick's instead preoccupied with the thought of him retiring. Then if I just quit YouTube, who's gonna care? A hundred, couple hundred people, okay. I can't watch Nick Akato slurp noodles and eat Takis. Oh, my life's not the same. I used to watch Nick Akato eat Taki. I don't think anyone's ever thought that, to be honest. Well, I mean, I'm sure some people did. Dude, you know how, how detrimental it would be to Sunny V2 if Nick Akato quit YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that quote is made? from Sunny. Bro, he has made so many videos just on here. Sunny V2 Nick Kakado Avocado. One, two, three, four. <laughs> he made four videos on Nick Kakado oh Avocado. God. 18 million views, brother. Look at these. Th the, I've, the price of success. Have you seen the right opinions, uh, Nick Kakado video? It's four and a half hours long. Dude, there's just no way it needs to be four hours. There's a lot of lore. I'm learning so much of it. <laughs> In considering throughout the previous year, so why doesn't he quit and do something else completely? Well, he addresses this also. I can't even get a normal job. I mean, imagine if I went to apply doing Locking. some type of management. Because I'm so known or there's so many horrible things I've put myself into, situations, it's like, it's going to create a polarizing environment. You know how many people hate me? They don't want to work with me. It's like, great. So now I've really limited myself. Sadly. <laughs> it's actually not even wrong. He's not even wrong. Who the fuck is going to hire Nick Kakato Avocado? Oh. Yeah, who the fuck would hire this guy? Literally nobody. He's not suit out or suitable to do anything. Damn. Listen. He what would he do? What would his job be in the normal American society? Oh, easy. Job of the Hut cosplayer. Okay. Like, work with me here. He goes on <laughs> Indeed.com, right? Living recycling bin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm trying to work this out. I'm trying to, like, see what he could actually do. And then you're like, hey, he's fucking fat. Like, he's okay, so I'm fat, trying to dude. help him. I'm I'm, I'm going to be his job scout right he now. He literally got try 23 to find him a million job. views on his latest video. He does not need your help. Uh, I, I'm looking back to when he did, okay, oh, as a... Commercial. You learn from the past to help the future, okay? That was a Zempic commercial? Yeah, he could be an actor, I suppose. Nick is probably right. If he was spotted working retail, it'd be a story instantly. But there are still other YouTube ideas that could also be successful. React channel. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Pull an ass. It's that ball. easy. It's that easy. A YouTuber named Usgang went unexpectedly viral when he began a series titled Try to Lose Weight in 100 Weeks. Well, Nick showed in his recent video that he was already losing weight. I recently lost 89 pounds. Did he take Ozempic, we think? I have no idea how he lost all this weight. Um, I, I just think it, it's got to be a surgery, right? Lost uh, yeah, I mean, the thing that surprised, I don't know. I saw something on Twitter, and I mean, it's Twitter, so take it with a grain of salt, but I did see something that tried, and I don't know if they know the start to finish, but it said, like, from when he was last seen fat to now, they worked out, like, the amount of pounds he lost over the amount of weeks it took, and then did the math on it, and it said something like five pounds a week, which is, like, not humanly possible. Yeah, that's why I, I think it's probably a surgery. 
right i guess um and also i'm sure you have to diet and exercise Mm -hmm. but, yeah probably a mixture but that's like superhuman like freak show shapeshifter amount of weight loss if if that's accurate if it that's was only why like it's so years. impressive yeah it's well that okay that's not what you were saying nux you weren't saying it's impressive that he lost the weight you were saying we got trolled isn't that impressive yeah both because if you remember when i described why it was such a good troll i said it's a good troll because no one thought he had the discipline to lose this amount of weight. And here he did it off screen with us thinking he was still fat. Did you say that? I don't know. I'm, I'm I used the word discipline. Um, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but it's it's definitely a crazy situation, honestly. Still morbidly obese. I can't even fit in a chair. Which has been proven as an element. I wonder how that's going to affect his relationship with his husband then. Because, like, are they going to still, like, fuck? Uh, it's been two years. Oh, they're not together? I have no idea if he's if his husband's still around. Damn. No clue. That sucks. No idea. I, I, we haven't heard of him in a long time. <laughs> Hello. Combine this with Nick Accardo's notoriety, and you've got a mega viral series that could fix his channel health and declining self-esteem. But he didn't even do the series! You know how much money was in that series? And he didn't even do it! Just for the troll! Bro. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That makes me think that there was definitely like a lot of, because like, there's if it would it, in order for it to have been a series, he would have been, had to like be running and stuff, right? So that makes me think it was probably like Ozempic. Even if it is Ozempic, you don't lose all that weight on Ozempic. Right. No, I get it. But in order for it to be a series, like, oh, I'm like losing this weight. Like, I think you there has to because like, there's no video if it's just you taking a pill in the morning and a pill at night, right? But but it's more. That's than my that. point. It's the pill in the morning, pill at night, and there's also going to be some sort of exercise and diet in between. Like that makes but that's, that makes me think he wasn't like running. This and go in Ozempic. And it's not going to work. You're still putting this yeah. amount of calories in your body, and he cemented himself. This guy loves the word troll, bro. This guy knocks with his fucking trolling He's a troll. appreciation. He's a troll. Dude, He's it's the for the jungler, troll. Bro. Epic troll. Epic troll. This guy's like stuck in 2010, bro. I'm sorry for not being 14 year olds old like you are. This is the most inappropriate. Have you heard of a uh, Sam Hyde? Had. You know this guy. He's a big troll. You're gonna love that guy. Isn't he a serial killer? Wait till you hear about the uh, yeah right. Wait till you hear about this right. They've got an entire face dedicated to this thing you like so much. What are you talking about? It's called troll face, bro. You'll love it. Never heard of it. Is that some yeah. kind of ancient caveman drawing? No, it's actually a uh, drawing that represents this activity you admire so much. God, I admire it so much. Look at him jonkling around. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> He's still there? Yeah, the amount of pointing and laughing is like... Ooh, so I, I, I just... I don't know. It's just like... Like, fuck this guy. I don't know. Like Nick Avocado was just like, look, he's even the like, shape fuck of that guy. Head. I don't know. Keep playing that machine, bro. I'm dying. I'm so ugly. I don't want to be ugly. Whilst giving him respect from every single viewer. Imagine if he disappeared off of YouTube for a year or two, lost all the weight what? and built muscle, became an absolute Chad, and returned to YouTube as a violin YouTuber. The respect he'd receive would be insane. Any comment, Achito? I'm right here. I know you're here. <laughs> but the Hello. respect would be insane. This Travo pre-watched, bro. Bro, it would be this yeah, Travo did pre-watch. He actually had the unlisted link to the video, so before it was up. So he actually knew basically. He pre he did have the pre-watch. What a good troll. That's just Nick's alt actually. What a good troll. Literally trolled everyone. God, what a troll. Epic troll. The only problem is Nick's completely terrified of trying something new. The worst part is I have an escape route and I'm so afraid to take it. At this point, however, is there even another alternative? I'm halfway. Yeah, death. Yeah. Through life. I don't want to spend the next half being like this. Even Nick himself. How old is he? He thinks he's halfway through his life. How old is Nick Akata Avocado? Dude, he's, he's got a... My guess is like 37. What? He's 32. Damn. 32. Dude thinks he's halfway through his life at 32? Oh, man. That sounds about right, though, to be honest. Well, at that size, yeah. 
Yeah. But admitted he can't keep doing mukbangs. You can't keep betting on the dying horse. You just can't. And in my stupid mind, it's like, it will change, it'll get better. Oh, if I pump out more content, it just, I'm not liked. I'm just not liked. And that's, that's the, that's the fact. And it See, but I'm not liked. And I think that's awesome. What's your thoughts on being liked? Um, I guess it depends, like, what your goal is. I, th I think the reality is that, like, like, the majority of people aren't going to like you. And especially when you're on the internet and you're constantly putting content of yourself out there for people to criticize and, like, find one thing to dislike you over. Like, yeah, I mean, they, they have, like, a window into your life that no one else is getting and now everyone else gets it. Like, uh, yeah, they're not going to like you. Most people are very dislikable at their core, but no one sees it because when they're seen they're able to you know behave politely and engage politely but the reality is like most people are not likable you know and that's why a lot of creators are like so hated i don't know i feel but, like most people are likable it's i think it's it's the power that comes with being a youtuber that corrupts you really think so yeah i do i think i think i think the thing with with the the reason why i think that is because I think the like streamers are more hated than YouTubers, and the conclusion I've made as to why is because they've they they're on the internet so much, and they uh, are on there so much, and, and so they're more like exposed to like they're showing their life more of their life to more people, right? And YouTubers get to like show what whatever they want, and that's kind of made me conclude like, well, the more you see of people, the less you like them. Well, that's depressing, to be honest. Uh, I, uh, look, maybe, maybe it's because I have a lot of very healthy relationships in my life. What could I say? It's not easy winning all the time. Like, yeah, me too, obviously. But I think, I think the thing is, is like, people are healthy in doses, right? I don't know. I think, um, I think the more you put online, definitely the more, uh, room for being criticized you get. Especially because most people that hate me don't know me and never watched my content. They just saw a couple of criticizing either videos or posts about me, and they made their entire decision process based on that tiny little um, window into my content that they had, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like the, the Jaden and I people, the guys on Twitter canceling me because I react to Jaden videos, like those guys, they hate me, and they've already made their decision, and they will never change it, and th I don't really care, to be honest. Right. Um, but... They don't know me. They never watched my content. Uh, I just think that yeah. the, the internet is so involved in spreading shit about people and gossip in general that uh, streamers will have more moments that could be taken in a way to make more people hate them than ever watch them. Yeah. Right? Well, like, I think for the people that you said don't like you, like what do you, what do you think they're what is their incentive to go out of their way to? Uh, like challenge that viewpoint like there's nothing exactly. they're just gonna be like the, the thing is is that people uh, life is on the highway for everybody now because of social media and you don't have time to think critically about anything like you just see the headline you see the tablet you see the clip you see whatever you draw your conclusions and then you just you swipe you, know, you just keep scrolling and i mean you know obviously that's that comes with co uh, pros and cons um, but one of the cons is that, like, you know, if you have a bad clip or, you know, something that is inopt uh, inoptical or makes you look bad, like, people are going to just hate you forever for that, and you just have to accept it. And people can't handle it. I think if you can handle it and realize that it's, like, ultimately something that is not deep-seated hatred and rather someone just, like you said, not knowing you, you'll be fine. Honestly, Jaden and I appreciate your assessment. We agree. Of course, yeah. Send her my best. My best. We are, we are on the same page with you. Of course. Yeah, and uh, I she think, seems lovely. Yeah. So anyway, everyone, uh, I think everyone on the internet likes hating someone. People, people like feeling a visceral emotion towards someone, being very polarized. It's like it's the same with politics, right? You're either the good guy or the bad guy. You're not just a guy. And um, ultimately, in this polarizing landscape of you needing to either love someone or hate them, um, to quote the goat. What's his name? Bo Burnham. Apathy's a tragedy and boredom is a crime. Oh, yeah. What's that song? No, 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 Anything no, 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 and everything all, the time. all of the time. Yeah. That, guy's a, that guy might be one of the most talented comedians of all time. He's just a genius. Yeah, he's a genius. He's not a troll like Nick Akato Avocado, but he, I respect him anyway. Yeah. I listened to, um, I don't want to get too sidetracked, but have you heard the, uh, the Kanye rant? Which one? The Bo Burnham Kanye rant. No. He he basically did a song 
per, like with auto tune, kind of like how Kanye does, but it's like such a I don't know. It, it, the song is really silly, but there's like 10 seconds where he's like really profound and he just talks about like wanting to balance putting on an act to entertain people but also maintain authenticity. It's like yeah, I can't handle this song. It's really good. One of my favorite messages I've ever received was from a friend of mine, Tectone. <laughs> he messages me, "Hey, I heard you're Jewish. Kanye doesn't like you." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we don't see eye to eye on a few things. Me and Kanye. Yeah, it was a banger. Are, are you? Wait, are you actually Jewish? Why are you so? Why are you so surprised? I'm not surprised. I just didn't know if you were trolling. Oh, listen, I'm no Nick Akato over here. This is bad. I have to leave this call. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you, you don't want to be paid off. You and you and Destiny paid off by the Jewish mafia. Mm. All right. Anyway, let's finish this Sunny V2 video. Let's see if the of conclusion course. aged well. Hurts, and I doubt Nix is disliked as he clearly thinks. There are loads of different people who appreciate the meme, while his series he made with Umperville helped restore his reputation. The honesty in his recent video also makes him much more likable, especially in the segments where he takes the honesty in his video makes him more likable. It's all lies, and his proof is a comment with one like. I love it so much. <laughs> I love commentary YouTubers. All of us. We're all great. All of us. It's yeah. it's like the fucking title of a Reddit post. Oh god, it's so good. Takes responsibility. But it's nothing to do with you, really. It's everything to do with me. Still, Nikocado's convinced that everybody hates him. And I'm here filming for people who hate me. Wow, my life is so cool. Making the video's main point all the more obvious. He desperately needs to try something new. It's like a dead relationship. You're clinging to something dead. Stop living in the past. Bro. And to think that right after that le epic twist. Yeah. And, uh, he lost all the weight. All along all the way i mean it's not as good as it's not as good as this thumbnail personally i think that this one Jaden animations and i just got exposed who invited bro oh my god uh, that was a good video or this one our drama situation is crazy where we got canceled that was a banger too no they didn't like that they didn't like that yeah sunny v2 has no nothing on your parasocialness yeah listen he tries to be parasocial but Jaden and i will always be more parasocial than Sunny V2 and Nick Avocado. Lovely. Yeah. All right. Well, right, well I, I, I need to sleep. It's dude. It's like eight a.m. Yeah. I haven't, bro. I've been up since like, I've been up for like twenty four hours, dude. I gotta fucking sleep. Well, I really appreciate you joining. This was a wild ride. Um, uh, I hope I yeah, of course, man. You on Nick Avocado lore. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I uh, managed to give some commentary. I'll bounce you over that face cam stuff. Hell shout yeah. out to you. Shout out to your chat. You guys are cool. Yeah, I like them. They're okay, whatever. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye, thanks for joining. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.